Last time on My Hero Academia, the showdown between Dobby and Shoto is in full tilt as brother versus brother rages forward like a wildfire. What'll happen next? Let's find out. Heights Alliance, Student Dorm, Final Night at UA. Summary of last chapter. It was mimicked flash fire versus flash fire made to stop a big brother. Please don't call the attack names that. Now Toya and Shoto's moves are about to collide. Got Deku speaking to Todoroki. Todoroki, I can't believe they're making you fight him. Shoto says, actually I wanted this, so don't worry. Even if my old man's gonna gripe about not fulfilling his promise, if we think of it as a punishment, then Hawks and them made a wise choice. Huh, punishment? Dobby's existence is my family's crime. Besides, in order to reach the heights I'm aiming for, I can't run from this. I, I have mixed feelings about the idea that someone else's crime being dictated upon the parents. Ultimately, a person is a person. Once they reach a certain point in their life, their mistakes are on them. Especially if it was never the parents' intention to steer them in that direction. Although, a parent also can take responsibility for the fact that they might have contributed to them going down a wrong direction. But, in a lot of situations, well, some people... We're just inevitably gonna turn out a certain way. Even a loving parent can raise a murderer. Oh, this new move of mine will get me past that wall of the to those heights. Number th My Hero Academia, number 352, Ultimate Moves. Okay, this is something very reminiscent of what Endeavor does, though, where he'll have that fire just on his body at all times. Dekuso says, Is this what you meant when you said you were figuring it out? Is this some new form of flash fire fist? Oduro says, Oh, right, you were gone, so you wouldn't know. Kaminari starts poking at the fire and says, Look, I can poke all I want without feeling the heat. Cool, right? <laughs> Deku starts poking away too. Todoroki says, Still, it's hard to maintain it for very long. Hence the figuring it out. Bakugo then shouts, I'll last longer in battle than you, wimp. And of course, in comes Ida saying, No dallying in the changing room. Get into the bath quickly. Shoto then continues on, I can elevate my flash fire move using my right and left side at the same time. My heart is central to making both hot and cold manifest. Oh, so the converging of the powers right at his heart. I can cycle heated and chilled blood throughout to create stability inside my body via a cold fire of sort. Huh. Deku thinks, blending heat and cold? That's totally like... But then Shoto continues, my old man sought out ice that could stifle that inner heat while I'm going in the other direction. And then he thinks also that I can be the one to affirm the reason I was born into that family. He then says, Midoriya, yes, this is my power. Thank you. Right. Ah, it's all going back to their fight during the sports festival where Midoriya screamed out, it's your power. So this is the culmination of all of this. Okay. And so their attacks crash into each other. Shoto shouts out, Icebound Crash! While Dobby shouts, Cold Flames Pale Blade. Shoto shouts at his brother, Maybe this is the way to cool your head! Ooh! And Shoto's attack overwhelms Dobby, pushing him back, crashing into the ground, forcing Dobby to stabilize himself. Dobby then thinks to himself, so he's got himself a body that can withstand scorching heat. And he found the power to chill my own inferno. He then shouts at his brother, The perfect man for this job, huh? You, go on and on about right and wrong choices. But I knew it. We might share the same blood, but we ended up real different. Oh, Shoto's kind of flame armor, whatever? dissipates and he thinks i lost it i need to switch it back on meanwhile dobby starts super heating the ground with his hands and he says a warped rail can never mingle with a straight and narrow one the limitations of superpowered society that's us you hear me oh <laughs> flaming pillars burst from the ground as dobby shouts running in parallel but forever apart, now burn to ash, die for our sake. 
but the attack is blocked all thanks to Endeavor sidekicks doing their best to dissipate the attack. As Kido says, Shoto Yu couldn't be more right. As Burning Onima and Kido fall, overwhelmed by the flames from Dabi. Dabi, uh, Shoto thinks heat that can even burn me as he starts to burn and sizzle, but not as bad as it could have been. And he tells the sidekicks, I'm sorry you guys, but Bernard says, quit it, save your energy. But Todoroki won't stop there, he says, let me say just one thing then. And he shouts to them, thank you. He thinks, blood, the past, along this past the mine, I have reclaimed so much for myself. Before I knew it, it seemed like everyone else had gotten so far ahead, but they were always there, waiting. Class A never left anyone behind. They were always there to reassure me. You see Shoto building up his energy, and he thinks back to Mount Lady during the signature move tutelage and what she said. Your ultimate move symbolizes you. It's through those moves that people learn what you're capable of. And Shoto races forward, slamming his fist into Dabi with a thud. And he says, no, we're gonna mingle, whether you like it or not. So please, just stop already. As a massive blast hits and envelops Dabi, an attack that Shoto calls Great Glacial Adger. As the two brothers, who never really got to ever even know each other, see themselves as children, crying their eyes out. Then you see it, the landscape, utterly frozen, as it looks like Dobby's entire lower half has been frozen solid. And honestly, it kind of looks as though Dobby just slumps over on top of Todoroki a little bit. Pardon the pun, but this was a really cool conclusion to this fight. Like, we've been building up Shoto's emotional baggage, him trying to find himself, him trying to understand who he personally is, the direction he wants to go in. And honestly, this is the best way to conclude this fight. Because... When you think about it, Dobby's whole baggage is trying to surpass his father, to try to make him pay, to try to make him suffer. Things that Shoto was doing at the onset of My Hero Academia. This isn't just Shoto taking down his violent brother, it's Shoto overcoming an aspect of himself. That hate, that rage, moving forward. This is who Shoto Todoroki is, a combination of these powers. To not just have the rage of his father, or the cool, gentle ice of his mother's side, which you can see encased in his big sister as well as his brother Natsu. It is an ability that uses both of those things in tandem, in a way that he was always meant to. And it doesn't demean uh, Dobby's power because Shoto had to have help through this. It wasn't just Shoto overcoming this on his own. If it wasn't for the sidekicks, Shoto would, again, pardon the pun, he'd be toast. But them dissipating Dobby's insane attack really help Shoto be able to overcome this. And Shoto freezing his brother is also a good way of keeping his brother from hurting himself anymore. His brother has hurt other people, and he's hurt himself in the process. This is really gonna look amazing anime, and I really can't wait to see it. God, it just already feels like an amazing conclusion. Now, I will say, I kind of wish we got the situation with Toga settled before this, only just because Toga's situation, you know, I wanted that to have its spotlight while we had it going on. But honestly, if that's my only gripe, this was amazing finale for me. 10 out of 10 would watch the fight again, and again, and again, and again. You know, this really has been a journey for Shoto, and the discovery that Dobby was his brother really did elevate everything about his character for the most part. Because again, the whole thing of him wanting to overcome his dad being his reason d'etre, you know, it was done so much out of spite, but now he has to overcome his brother who had become an out-and-out -out villain, had done so many terrible things to other people. Shoto spent so much time you know, looking at his dad with so much animosity, always seeing the bad that he had done, but never actually acknowledging 
the good that he had done. And that was a difficult thing for him. His dad is a hero. He does good things, but he also did terrible things. But his brother did nothing but terrible things. His brother is an living embodiment of tragedy. And Shoto needed to do what he could to put an end to this madness. He had to see how nothing but hatred and resentment can eat you alive. I don't know, there's just so many metaphors you could just build out of this confrontation. And I really did enjoy it. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think the fight is actually over? Does Dobby have something else on his, up his sleeve? Or do you think this is it? I, again, would not mind if this is the conclusion. This feels like a good conclusion to me. But maybe you feel differently. I'd love to hear from you. And hey, maybe subscribe so you don't miss out on the next reaction. Or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. Until next time, I've been News Dizzed In. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye